This is a ship tour of the Celebrity Solstice. We'll start at the top and work our way down. From time to time, I may have to put my own music underneath me speaking or walking around since they are playing copyrighted music around different parts of the ship. This is deck 16, the Solstice deck. Lounging area, they have lounge chairs, then some padded chairs. It's early morning, so they don't have these set up right now. And it looks like they attach uh, ropes to all the uh, lounge chairs overnight up here and other areas as well. I guess for the wind, it doesn't blow around maybe. This is the front of deck 15. Deck 15 doesn't run the whole length of the ship. And here is the kids club, I believe. You have some chairs here. Then you have the basketball court. It's a small court. One basket, and also the basketball court's right above the Sky Lounge, and you can hear the basketball and people playing when you're in the Sky Lounge. More walkway over here. So we're at the Kids Club area on Deck 15, toddler area, Camp at Sea, family restroom, it's X Club, teens only lounge. Deck plans have an arcade over here. Maybe in the back there, but I didn't see one when I looked in there. Now we're at the aft of deck 15. And you have some chairs, smoking area here. There is the sunset bar. And the big thing here, a lot of seating, smoking area. But the big thing here is the real grass that's on the ship. Which I guess, which is, I guess is a novelty and was a novelty back in the day, but I don't know. It's a lot of wasted space, I think. See, it's a big lawn area. Then they have these little seating areas where you can reserve these to sit here, as well as you can get food up here. And this is where they have the large TV screen, so when they show movies and such, they show it out here. And then this is where they do the hot glass. You can uh, sign up and pay and make your own glass sculpture. This is what these little things look like, these little areas. Front, you have the Sky Conference Center. Over on this side, you have the Sky Observation Lounge. Lots of seating areas. There's a bar in here as well. They do trivia in here, game shows. One good thing about the trivia on Celebrity here is they use a TV screen, so they had like movie trailer trivia where they played movie trailers, but also put the questions and then the answers on the screen. This is outside on deck 14. This is the walking jogging track, which is kind of inconvenient because it's where you need to walk to go across the ship as well. You get a bar over here, the mast bar. Smoking area, apparently. And the jogging track comes across this bridge here. Deck 14 is the Ocean View Cafe, which is the buffet. And I'll walk through here, but I'll have a separate video on breakfast, lunch, and dinner options at the cafe. Walking through early breakfast right now. 7.37, it's not too crowded. Again, there'll be a video on the channel of the breakfast, lunch, and dinner buffets. You can see it's a big area with lots of different stations. At the back of the buffet, you have some outdoor seating. And then some nice seating over here with cushions. Ocean view bar. This is the spa area. There's a spa reception area, really nice. Here's the fitness center. It's really pretty big. Got a lot of towels, you got water, scale, all the cardio equipment you can need. This goes all the way around. This is in the front. Now they have the weights here. So you have dumbbells, you have machines as well. So you see classes are over here probably. Nice. And then this looks like this is a hidden little deck out here that you can only get to from the gym area, which is locked right now. Maybe the other side. But there's a little deck out here with loungers in the front of the ship. So they have all these weight machines. It's pretty big, it's nice in here. Here's the Persian garden on deck 12. It smells good in here. And you have a steam room. Oh, 
Ooh, it's steamy. Up. Oh, oh, it fogged up. Wow. It's like eucalyptus or something. Oh, aromatic sweet. This is the main pool area. So they have one pool, and then there's like a bridge that goes over it, and they have four hot tubs. And there's this water feature. I haven't seen this go yet. I heard it may be broken. We are in shade because of these shade structures up here some of the time. And over here you have the pool bar. And you have this bar overlooking the pool area with stools that you can sit at. This is a little shop, probably for sundries. Doesn't look like it's opened or will be opened. A little seating area, hammock. Now we're entering the solarium, which is adults only. By adults, they say 16 plus. There are no signs here that tell you that. This is a nice area. You got a pool, you got two hot tubs. You got these nice chairs, it's enclosed. And you got this nice pool. The pool isn't heated. I mean, it was chilly. It's not warm, that's for sure. And you have this water feature here. You can't see the lights now because it's daytime. I'll try to get a shot of that at night. And over here you have the spa cafe. You can purchase some items as well as there's some free items. Deck 11, you have the spa, some of the spa area in the front where they have spa rooms as well as the relaxation room. The deck 10 is all state rooms except for the library. They have a lot of shelves. They don't have a lot of books, but they have books in different languages. Deck nine is gonna be state rooms plus the card room. This is the card room. There's some games here. It's a nice area where you can sit and play games. Deck eight is state rooms only. Deck seven is mostly state rooms. So the captain's club host, team earth, and the concierge desk in this little area here. Deck six is mostly state rooms, but there's also the Celebrity Eye Lounge where they have computers, Mac set up here that you can use your internet connection with or purchase time. So we're aft on deck five. This is where some of the specialty restaurants are. So over here you have Silk Harvest Restaurant. And you have the Tuscan Grill. And this is Blue. This is the Ensemble Lounge. Then you have Murano over here, which is also a specialty restaurant. And here you have Michael's Club. This is actually where we entered the gangway. So you have a deck over here. Doesn't look like it walks around the ship. You have some seating here. Back inside. There's also a deck on the other side as well. There's a meeting room over here. Here you have Sushi on Five, sushi restaurant. And you have seating over here, overlooking deck four. Over on this side, you have Cafe El Baccio, coffee bar area. These pastries are complimentary. Then you have the gelateria over here where they have gelato for purchase. Going forward on deck five, some shops. The bar area here. Jewelry store. Breitling, Breitling watches. Watch store here. Pieces of time, more watches over here. Then you have part of the art gallery. Men's shop over here. Some clothing. And then this is like the art gallery area. More art displayed here, Park West. Another store, handbags, makeup, perfume, handbags, watches, jewelry, all the standard stuff you expect on a cruise ship. Then you have the Solstice Theater. This is where the um, comedian was. Looks like the magician's here. We're on deck four, forward. The other level of the Solstice Theater, which is on deck four and five. Here you have Celebrity Central, and then you have Quasar, which is a nightclub. They also do some things in here. They had watercolor painting in here. 
So it's like a spaceship type theme, I guess. And you have Celebrity Future Cruise Vacations office. You have Fortune's Casino. So, that's an okay size. They have some newer games, also older. What's interesting about this casino is it's open on the side. There is a bar in here, of course, but it's open on the side, as you'll see. I can walk over here, and you have this walkway with the shops. I haven't seen that before on a cruise ship. Usually it's like a room. They have to walk through in the middle of the deck. But this is open on this side, which makes it a lot more airy. We come down this side from Celebrity Central, and you have the liquor store. Then you have the photo gallery where you see your photos, purchase some. They also have some items for sale. Celebrity shop, solstice shop, some logo items, and some clothing. It's a nice little walkway, nice and airy, large, a lot of light. And these stores over here. And you come up here, you have another seating area. There's a bar over here. So this is a Grand Epernier dining room, deck four and three. Deck four is normally for a celebrity select where you dine on your own time, make reservations, whereas deck three is for the standard early late dining. This other side of deck four, you have Cellar Masters. So deck three in the back, you have the other floor of the Grand Epony Dining Room. And then you have on this side, Lumine, specialty restaurant. Then you have the shore excursion desk. Over here you have another bar. And you have a staircase, I guess the grand staircase, if you want to call it. Seating area over here, like the lobby. This is guest relations. The rest of deck three is state rooms. Deck two has medical on it. Plus the Celebrity Solstice ship tour. Remember to like, share, subscribe, comment down below.